Hi guys, today I'll be showing you a great Windows application called WinsX Media Trends. This app is the perfect alternative app to iTunes for transferring files between your iOS devices and your Windows computer. So why do I say it is the perfect alternative to iTunes? Because if you take a look at this app here, WinX Media Trends, it provides eight most needed features that iPhone or iPad users need in order to transfer files between iPhone, iPad or iPod to and from a Windows computer. These eight features include photo transfer, music manager, video manager, encrypt file, iBooks, voice and ringtone, flash drive, and remove DOM. I will be covering all of these features to show you how useful this app is. And speaking of WinX Media Trends, it also has its Mac version called Mac X Media Trends. It functions the same as the Windows version. However, today I am fascinated in showing you how to use it on a Windows computer because it is never easy to find a great app which could be used to replace the iTunes on a Windows version. So have you ever wanted to use a different application that would function very similarly to iTunes but better? As you know that with iTunes, you have very limited control over what you want to put inside your iPhone or other iOS devices. Synchronizing photos, videos, iBooks, ringtones and music to your iPhone has been very complicated with the use of iTunes. So have you ever wished that there is one app that would do all of these things and more in a very quick and easy way? Well, with WinX Media Trends, all your worries will be gone. So we'll start with the first feature called Photo Transfer. So you need to plug in your iOS device. These are the photos inside my camera roll. When you take photo, you have different dates that you have taken the photo. You can select the date that you want to copy or you can just select all. If you click on the word export, it will export to your computer. But if you click on the small down arrow next to it, you will see two more options. Just export or export HEIC to JPG. HEIF stands for High Efficiency Image Format. This format only appears if you're using iPhone 8, 8 Plus or 10. You will have this new format. So you need to convert it to a normal JPG before you can view that photo on your computer. So if you select this, it will convert it for you. But if you select the word export, it will export the original file without converting to JPG, which means some photos you cannot view on your computer. So I would recommend you to select this option so that all your photos will be converted to JPG first before it transfer to your computer. So let's say I want to transfer some photos. Let's say I transfer these two. So you just click export, done. You can view the photo here. And if you want to transfer your photos from your computer to your iPhone or iPad, you have to create a folder first. Let's say I put test it. You select on that folder. You click add photo and go to find where you have saved your photo. I put it on my desktop. I have some photo here. So I just select all of them and click open. It's not inside my iPhone yet. You need to click sync so that the app will transfer this photo into your iPhone. So I click sync here and wait for it. Done. Now all of these 13 photos are in my iPhone. If you take a look at my iPhone screen, go to photos and then at the bottom you see the word test it. Click on it here. These are the photo I transfer at the moment. It's now inside my iPhone. And if I want to remove any photo or remove all of them, I select here. So I click delete and then I click on the album and click delete again. And then you click sync, it will delete all. Done. Very quick, very easy. Next, I want to show you how to transfer music with the next feature called Music Manager. These are songs inside my music app. I can just copy this and export it to my computer by clicking here. Done. Here it showed me the music here. Very quick, very convenient. And I can also add music from the computer into my iPhone as well. Just click add music here. I can add folder or add files. So just click add music. Let's say I have some music on my desktop. Let's say I select a few of them and click open. Now they have been added. Just click sync to transfer. Done. Now if you look at my iPhone screen, you go to music. 
and then we go to songs and scroll down you see here these are the songs that I have just added into my music app now let's move on to the next feature called video manager to transfer you have to click on home video here and then you see the word add video and then you find where you have stored your videos mine you put it on my desktop there's two format I have this one is you take a look at the property it's mp4 but this one the ending is mkv and this is another cool feature about this app if it detects that the video that you are trying to transfer is in the right format that you can play on your iphone or ipad it will not convert but if you transfer a video that your iphone or ipad does not support it will convert into the right format so that you can play on your iphone let's try with this one first click open now we click sync done now let's try another one we try to add this one the format that your ios device does not support now you can see they say unsupported format they give you the option to convert it now to be able to play you have to convert it so i click convert now it's done because this is a small file that's why i convert very quickly now it's done you click sync done so you take a look at my iphone screen again and go to tv app go to library and you can see I have two videos here that I've just transferred at the moment. Now let's play this one. Click play. You see? So it worked perfectly. Okay, let's move to another feature. So I will talk about the encrypt file later. Right now, let's talk about the iBooks first. Just only this one app, it provides all of these cool features that it's not easy to find one application that can do all of these things. Usually, to be able to transfer each of these, you have to have different apps. But this one just have all of these cool features in one app. Now let's try to transfer some iBooks into the iPhone or iPad. Click on this. Now I have zero book. It gives you the option like here, all books or EPUB only or PDF or audio book. So if you have each of these, you can just select that and transfer it. So like mine, I have some EPUB. So I select this, click add book. Again, it's on my desktop, iBooks here. I have four books. And again, before I transfer, I want to show you my iBooks app first on my iPhone screen here. If you go into it, see the book, I have nothing. Now I add some books into it. Now I click sync done now go to my ibook again on my iphone you see all the four books are in my ibooks app now if you open it it worked perfectly fine let's move on to voice and ringtone i think with itunes right now it stops allowing you to transfer your customized ringtones into your iphone only if you purchase it through the itunes store but with media trends you still can transfer your customized ringtones into your iphone or ipad easily just add ringtone here you can add any ringtone you have i have some on my desktop you have to make sure that the extension of your ringtone it have to be m4r so you have to convert any mp3 ringtone into m4r so that you can use it as your iphone ringtones so let's say i want to select four of these i just click open here you start adding now i need to click on the word sync to transfer done very quick now again if you take a look at my iphone screen you go to settings go to sounds ringtones these are the new ringtones that we have just transferred at the moment. And to test if it works, let me try to play Locked Away first. It just worked fine. And if you want to delete any of them, let's say I have two Locked Away, I want to delete one. Just select that. You can select any ringtones that you want to remove. Let's try another one. So two of these, and then you click Delete, and then you can click Sync, it will remove done and if any ringtones you like let's say this is your friend's iphone and they have some cool ringtones you want to copy so that you can put it in your iphone too you just select your friend's ringtone and click export it will export to your computer really cool let's move on to another feature called flash drive so as its name suggests it turns your iphone into a flash drive it's really cool usually only android device can be used as a flash drive but now you can use your iphone as a flash drive as well you can add file here or you can create a folder first and then copy the file into it let's say I create a folder it's called test it click ok double click on it and i want to add some files into it just drag and drop so you just drag and drop like that and it's done it stay right there and now you want to transfer this to your desktop you just click export here it asks you where you want to save so i save on the desktop 
here so on my desktop really quick and really cool if you want to delete it click general storage if you want to delete the whole folder tick there click delete click ok it's done really awesome another feature is called remove dom here the word dom it means digital rights management basically this one allows you to remove the digital rights management from any music you download it from apple music and because i haven't subscribed to apple music i cannot show you this one but if you subscribe to apple music you can remove the authorization from the music so that you can share with your friend and the last feature that i want to show you is encrypt file the reason why i leave this to the last because it is connected to the photo and video files if you click encrypt file so you have file encryption and file decryption this feature is really cool when you want to share your secret photo with someone but you need them to have password so anyone else without a password will not be able to see what that photo is so in the photo transfer or video manager they will include that encryption here it's an export with encryption you tick on that it will ask you to type in your password this password will be saved on this so that next time you will not need to type the password again when you want to encrypt a picture or or video so you have to tick on this one first to say I already know to accept the terms and conditions so make sure you tick that and make sure you remember the password that you set here as well let me try to type in the password now it's done it say okay and it show you down here to say enable exporting with encryption with photo and video click OK so when you take this any photo or video when you export from your iPhone will be encrypted if you untick it let's say this too again if you take this but I don't take on export with encryption if you click export if you export here and you can still view it but if I select the video and then I tick on export with encryption if I click export here no one can see that photo because the ending of the photo is dear mob there's no way you can open this file only the one with the right password and the one that used this app so you need to use this app to decrypt the file to decrypt i have to go to that feature this one encrypt file then we have the word file decryption i click on that i click add files and you have to find where you save it here and this is the file click open you click the word decrypt now it asks you to type in the password let me type in the password click ok it start decrypting now it's done it show you the decrypted file it's really cool so no one can view your video or photo only the one with the right password so you see these are the best feature that you have always wanted so that you are able to transfer files between your iphone and your window computer so now if you ask me how much would this app cost if it provides lots of cool features like that in one single app well if you go to its official website i have included the link to their official websites in the description below you can check them out if you decide to buy this app click on buy now so for one year license for one pc it costs 29.95 but if you want to buy a lifetime license it costs only 35.95 so it's better to consider this option not this one because this is only for one year but this one is a lifetime and you can use it for two pcs and they also have the family package as well okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video